I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rahaha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Salute and honors to you, other elders, and you brothers, you Akim, you fellow believers of this faith, you Akwaf, you few sisters, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. I want to do a response off of a comment that was left. Uh, this person's name is at Omni. I don't know who it is, but it seems like a sincere question. He, he or she asks, could you do a video on why the Lord's people wasn't born with these laws, okay, embedded inside them from the start, right? Actually, a pretty good question, but a lot of times these questions come through frustration because the, tr the uh, trauma that our people have caught, and when you read the scriptures, it says, if you will not follow the Lord, uh, the first commandment, that's the main thing, if you don't love the Lord with all your heart, then all these curses are going to come upon you. Now, anybody who has children, you know all children go off. And when they go off, they get punished, they get corrected, so they can live, you know, another path or get on, on, on course. So we all have to sin, we all have to go off to get on path. How do you know uh, what is good if you haven't sinned? You see what I'm saying? So all this ultimately is happening, and I, I'm going into this comment because I sense some form of frustration. Ultimately, <clears throat> and we'll get into it, Ultimately, the Lord did these things, right, for us to get to the kingdom and appreciate it. Can you imagine if the Lord, we were just in the kingdom already? Where would the appreciation come? Like, people who are born rich and they're super wealthy, they don't appreciate what the hell they have. When you're broke and then you become wealthy, you might not know how to deal with that kind of wealth, but you have a much greater appreciation but let's get some scriptures and go into this actual topic right let's go to Genesis 26 a lot of people think that um, we didn't have the laws right well we already had the laws but let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6 right it says and we're going to go into the New Testament as well it says for thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy power the Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Lord already chose us to be special people. What does it mean to be special? Separate, holy, right? The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, right, have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bond, bondmen from the hand of the Pharaoh, king of Egypt. So we're going to go back here to Genesis. Let's go to Isaiah real quick. Isaiah 44 and 2. And one, yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb. So the Most High has already instilled everything in us. But then you had that left hand side where we would sin. Uh, clearly the Lord, if he didn't want us to sin, we would not sin. It says, which will help thee fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and, and thou Jeshurun, whom I have chosen, which is another name for Israel, Jeshurun, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. So, we're going to go back here now to Genesis 26 and 4. And I will make thy seed multiply as the stars of heaven. We can see this in Hosea 1 and 10 and 11. And will give unto the, thy seed all the countries, all these countries, right there. And in thy seed, shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. 
Now, I have to stop there and jump to Acts 3.25. Ye are, this is the precept. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant, which Yahweh made with our father, saying, Unto Abraham, we'll get into Abraham in a second, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. So we go around here to, in thy seed shall all the kindreds um, of the earth is G3965. Let's see what this says. G3965 means a lineage or, or progenitor ancestry, a group of families, all those who give common, who are given people to lay hold to a common origin. The Israelites was distributed into 12 tribes, meaning the nations. The Israelites is actually nations with an S. I, I did a video on that. You can... You, you, you know, if you really go into the context, you'll see that they were divided into nations, right? Descended from the 12 sons of Jacob and were divided into family and these which were divided into houses, right? So this is what we get in, uh, I think this is also in Genesis 12 and 3, right? It goes on to say, and I will make thy seed multiply the stars of the heaven. It goes on to say, because that Abraham obeyed my voice, right, and kept my charge, my commandments, uh, my statutes, and my laws. So we can also just get into the point, when he went to Jacob and Esau, we'll probably get that too. When you go to Jacob and Esau, was Esau having any laws? Could Esau follow the laws of the Most High? Right? He wasn't given the laws. But they would have to do according to the heads of the earth, which are the Israelites, to for, you know to, to uh, push them to follow the laws because they wasn't given the laws. That's the thing about it. They was not given it to them. So if, they, if it wasn't given to them, right, then it was not meant for them to have any other laws. So if it was given to the Israelites, and if you understand reincarnation, this is what we read in Genesis 12, I mean 26, I mean Isaiah. Um, let me see here. It says, Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb. So the Most High already had it set and gave us everything from the beginning. Remember, you start as an infant anyway. You start as an infant anyway. But through the Spirit, we understood but there was a left-hand side, you know, that was presented to us to cause us to go off. Because even when we get off, when you read the stories, even when we went off, when you read the stories of the Bible, we went a whoring after other gods. But we would try to keep the God of Israel, right, and merge it with the other gods. That's why he said, thou shalt not have any other God beside me. Because that's what the Israelites were doing. Right, so we already knew we was the Most High's chosen people. We already gifted that. So the, the short answer is we already had it. The Most High gave it to us. Right, but upon going off, when Moses brought the law, the Most High's law, those was laws that already existed, just as. You could say now, my teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, and a lot of One West teachers, guess what they're trying to do? They're trying to bring you back to the truth, which does involve the law to a degree. Following the first commandment, they're trying to bring you back. Now, if it wasn't in me to do that, I wouldn't follow it. Right? And so the elect, the Lord is, remember, the scripture says, the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. So in order to be blinded, you had to have it. Right? I believe that's in Romans 11. The election have obtained it. What did it mean to obtain? Something you already had. But the rest were blinded. Why would they be blinded? They would only be blinded if they couldn't see or they was able to see and the Lord blinded them. It's there, but they're blinded. Okay? If you get the point. Let's go to Romans 9, verse 11. Romans 9 and 11. 
for it says um, for the children being being not born neither having done any good or evil and the purpose of Yahweh according to the election might stand not of works but of him that calleth okay um it goes on to say, It was said unto her, The elders shall serve the younger, as it was written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the Most High loved Jacob before he was even born. These spirits that were created. And then Esau, he hated him before he was even born. Right? Just like an example, a lot of a lot of these Adumians, they had their place. That, that uh, Jerry... With that talk show, you know, the, the Springer, guess what? He was already set to be the person that he was before he was born, before he was put here. And he did a marvelous job on the left-hand side. It was still a bidding of the Lord's work. The Lord not mad at him. <laughs> he, You know, you could hate him, but when you come down on this earth, that's a whole new judgment. And I'm not going to say the Lord not mad at him, but the Lord did set it up. He don't have to be because he set it up. He didn't cause him to do it. But when they come down on earth, it's a total different ball game. Right? It says, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and compassion on whom I will have compassion. So you can make the argument in Job, the third chapter, that everybody is at rest that go into the spirit realm. Right? Everybody's at rest. But you have the right hand side and you have the left hand side. At the end of the day, the Lord is the one set them up to do everything that they did. So the Lord's not going to be mad at himself. Right? But hey, he created Esau to be hated. That's what it is. My thing, what I'm saying according to this video, just be happy to be chosen if you, or at least called. Be happy you're an Israelite. That's where your mind should be. Because at the end of the day, in order to get to where we need to go, we must go through the tribulation. Right? And only the elect is going to wake up uh, according to that. Let's go to Hebrews 8. And let's go to 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds. And I will write them in their hearts. This is talking about all of Israel. It's already started with the elect. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. That's the end game. That's why Yahweh said, I will not drink the fruit of the vine until I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. Right? Yahweh already had it embedded in him. But what did he do? He came down in Solomon and he went off. Proverbs 20, 24 says, man's goings of the Lord. So everybody has already, the holy people of Israel is in them, is just blinded, right? The Lord took it from them. We were born of who we were from day one. The spirits created from Yahweh on down. We were born of who we were, of who we are. And if you believed them back then, it's embedded in you when you came back through the reincarnation to believe in him now. If you were the elect back then, you're going to be the elect now. Why? Because it's in you. It's embedded in you. Anyway, hope this lesson was edifying. That's all I have on that. Shalom.